Hi friends, today we can see how to prepare green batteries, rechargeable green batteries using zinc coated aluminum cans and carbon rod. This is the old battery which we have prepared, zinc carbon batteries, quick charging. This battery was prepared on 210.22, it's still fine. Able to uh, once you charge it is 2.1 volt and more than uh, 300 milliampere it is. So this is what we saw in the previous session. Now I will show you how to prepare similar batteries. Instead of adding this uh, what you call metal oxide powder in that major amount will be zinc hexacyanoferrite. I will later on show you how to prepare even zinc hexacyanoferrite in my next session I will show you. This will be the chart green batteries rechargeable zinc battery with zinc hexacyanoferrite and 10 percent MnO2. Same, I have to take any aluminum coin, I mean can coat with zinc using zinc oxide and sodium hydroxide. Carbon rod is there with that a nylon bag which will be filled with this nature friendly zinc hexacyanoferrite. Please note down zinc hexacyanoferrite which is nature friendly. It is free from lead, cobalt, lithium, mercury. So this is nature friendly with 10 percent of manganese dioxide. That is why it is called as green battery. This battery also functions very fine. It is rechargeable. Even the efficiency is so good. Even the motor runs so fine. You can able to see its flow of current. You can by practice you can you can able to feel it. The electrolyte will be equal volume of zinc chloride here. Zinc chloride is being added here. Zinc sulfate, pinch of M manganese sulfate. Guar gum you can add in there as a jelly bang agent. And I am using acrylic wool as the barrier and absorbent. Same, we will see how to prepare step by step. What we need? This kind of can I have cut it. I coat it with zinc. Okay. The method I have given you how to coat zinc also I have given you in my previous session. I so this is a pure aluminum sheet. See the difference. So zinc has been coated in the aluminum cans. See outside for the contact purpose I have scratched it. So inside you can able to see zinc. This means this will be the negative electrode for us. For positive, I am going to take a carbon rod. This is a nylon filter bag which we can prepare. You can able to see the ceilings. In inside, I have to fill this zinc hexacyanoferrite. This I have prepared myself using graphite and carbon black and MnO2. I have pre-mixed it in order to fill in in presence of you. Step by step, I will show you. I will take uh, this things. I will take it. I am little slow. Kindly adjust. I am little slow. That is why. We have to slowly fill this bag. You can add up your own methods. This I feel this is practical for me. So I am doing this. You can do some other nice method also. Each one have the own methods. So I have just poured inside this. Able to see? Then finally we have to. It all depends how much you want. You can till the brink also do it. But see, be careful because too much also. Sometimes it will tear the bag. You cannot tie it properly. So I have finished it. So see the dust don't collect in the outside. You clean it and I have to tie it. So I have tied this with the thread. So now this is the positive electrode containing hexacyanoferrite, zinc hexacyanoferrite. This is a natural friendly compound. So this also gives you very good volt and ampere also. I'll show you. We will you will be seeing it. So this I have prepared. Then this is okay. Now comes the electrolyte. For the electrolyte, 
the electrolyte will be equal am quantity of zinc sulfate please note down zinc sulfate equal quantity it is 3 molar zinc sulfate that is uh, roughly 10 grams or 9 grams dissolved in 20 ml of water zinc sulfate similarly i have to take zinc chloride this is zinc chloride this also white white powder zinc chloride this is also 3 molar that is also 10 grams or 9 grams in 20 ml of water this i have taken already i have made it like this i prepared i prepared like this 20, 20 ml zinc chloride zinc sulfate separately i made it even manganese sul manganese sulfate very pinch amount we need 0.15 g in 10 ml i already dissolved and kept ready so all these three things are kept ready i'll show you all these three things are kept ready now if you want i can even show you separately how to prepare all these electrolyte again in the next session i can show you if you need you can kindly comment so that i can also share the knowledge i have gained so what i have prepared zinc chloride zinc sulfate and manganese sulfate little amount all this they we have to mix it and this will be the electrolyte for this battery for this battery so we will shall mix it in one beaker we can mix it we can mix it in this beaker so all this nickel amount we can mix it this one i mixed it zinc sulfate i am going to mix so zinc sulfate i mixed it then comes uh, the manganese sulfate all these three i have mixed now i can take out this beaker and keep outside so we have now got the electrolyte mixer it's a blend you can slowly stir it plastic rods will be better you can stir it for activation purpose always better no this uh, electrode past electrode we can dip it so the powders also get wetted with this electrolyte just for pinch it is done this is enough so i made this wet no so that activation time will be reduced that's it you can save the time so i can keep it aside now let us see how to yeah this thing we have to add some gel gorgam gel i will add it so little amount of gorgam we can add with the electrolyte so that we get a gel little amount is enough i have to just pinch out of practice i have done it you can stir it so ultimately i prepared this gel you see getting thicker this is getting thicker now within 2 3 minutes it will become so thick so we can do one thing we can wet this acrylic wool and stuff the electrode you able to see i am pouring it so i am doing all in front of you because you can also see the practical how it is been mixed you are not supposed to put hand these are all chemicals not to put hands but i am doing it so you will think you won't mistake me yeah, i am showing you not to put hand try to wear gloves always better how to wear gloves always better so almost it is wet will will do one thing we we'll see that this is yeah covered totally see that you don't go above this because then it will become itself discharge it will discharge itself so you slowly rotate with this so they become saturated you able to see i'm just going to insert this into this tub this is the negative tub inside i'm going to insert it i've done it see that it's totally surrounded by electrolyte because there should not be any gap so electrons has to transfer each each place no from negative to positive all the it has to transfer 
so without electrolyte you cannot expect transfer of electrons battery won't function these are all aqueous based electrolyte so all this we are done now you can expect i'll keep the extra electrolyte if it required we can use it i'm just wiping my hands i'm not supposed to put it so we have done this and let us see first what will be the voltage it is generating that we'll see it i'll take a voltmeter voltmeter i take voltmeter we we'll let us see first what will be the volt i am also curious no in front of you i am doing it 1.76 volt able to see friends this is a green battery it is not like other batteries which contains this even thrash contains no lead and other things are there being added to commercial powders this i have prepared myself see that does not get discharged that is very important the containers no they should not come in each other contact okay okay friends 1.76 volt it is maintaining we are able to see the voltage once saturated it will show you very stable one the battery has to get saturated that is it we have to wait for saturation One point eight, okay. Once it's saturated, the amperes, volt, everything will be uh, constant. So this will be the battery. So this will be the battery. I'll put a small, small top, so that it looks complete. At least for my sake, it looks complete. Okay, friends, see this. Able to see? Yeah. we can close it you can tight it and then make it close it become a beautiful battery for you it's a rechargeable green battery Okay, friends. This is called green battery. Since I am using zinc hexafluoride ferrite as the metal oxide powder here, along with 10% of uh, manganese dioxide, then the other compound is carbon black and graphite. In in the bag, nylon bag, with it attached to the carbon rod, positive. The negative will be the zinc coated aluminium can. So this is also very cheap, rechargeable. Research is going on to use it as. for car battery i mean for car batteries and on the electronic vehicles okay friends if you like press the like button give comments kindly subscribe that gives me encouraging blood to do still more more modified batteries i have in my mind i can show you okay friends please